In this video, I'm going to be doing a multi-species challenge, fishing in the salt water and also the fresh water. Let's do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start on the salt water river side. Perfect. We're going to be using plastics. We're going to make our way down to one of the wharves on the salt side. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to start our multi-species challenge. This is a ferry wharf down in the salt. We're going to make our way back up to the fresh as we tick off species. So I thought what better way to kick it off than to come down here whilst I know that there probably wouldn't be anyone here yet. I might be the first person to cast here tonight. You know what? We'll just fish along this bridge that we've been walking on. Looks like the ferry is not going to be here for another 10-15 minutes. And I've got the light gear already set up. And with the light gear, I've got this lure tied on right there. I don't know if it's focusing on me. Let me just double check. This one is the Z-Man Prawns in motor oil. Just got a standard 1 16th ounce jig head and yeah that lead looks dodgy but it is not because I just tied it. And what better way to kick off the night than to actually cast some lure into the water and see if we get anything. Here we go. Night's just started right there. Here we go. Alright. And whilst we do that, what do you guys reckon will be the first catch? Put it down in the comments section. Let me know. I want to know how many of you guys get it right. Because I actually don't know what we're going to get. So that's why I'm starting off with the prawn lure. I feel like literally anything and everything eats a prawn at night. All right, first cast there, no good. About half a dozen casts, no good. We'll try on this side here. Maybe the first cast here might do something. Yes. Wow, there we go, first cast, ladies and gents. Here we go, what is that? It's coming in. Let's get the light on. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's a flatty. There we go, three, two, one. Don't lose him. Oh, don't high stick like that. Oh, no. Whoa. It's down deep too. Whoa. Here we go, ladies and gents. Boys and girls of all ages, here we go. Flatty, oh, snap me off. Obligatory shot with the fish. Don't move your tail because you slap me in the face. But what we will do is give it a bit of a sniff test. <laughs> Ooh, smells like Parramatta River. Pliers right here, test that it works. Very gently, get that off. There we go, see? Easy, painless. It's like getting a root canal. Actually, I've never had one, but I hear that they're extremely painful. But it would have been pretty easy on this fish. See you later. And we'll get straight back into the action because we only just got here. That's my multi species kicked off with a flathead. And I don't even know if I showed you the lure there. That is what I was using. All right, that was good. Let's try around this side. What do you say? Maybe right around here. Did you hear that? Back in that corner. Fish jumping. There we go, yes! Oh, what is that? This ain't doing snag up, but we snagged something. Reverse snag. Yes, sprung my trap card. As Yu-Gi-Oh would say. Little chopper tailor right there. Fairy's coming. Let's just let him free. And it looks like he hasn't damaged my leader too, which is very nice indeed. There we go. Crackity crack! Woo. Nice little chopper. Hit me in the light. Two species, here we go, let's go. Let's just go change lures to something else. All right, let's rest this rod down here. Z-Man prawns, it is going off now. We are gonna go try another prawn, mostly because I've only got one left in this packet and I always get the feeling that if I got one left, I need to get rid of it, I need to use it and toss out the empty packaging. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, look at Mr. Lazy over here. It's already got a jig head already on there. Look at that juicy bite of a pro lure prawn. Let's get it. Let's get back to this corner. Get right here. Yo, there we go, straight off. Oh no, we just dropped that one there. Pro lure prawn. Bang. Oh no. That was a clunk. That was a clunk. That's not me telling Fibsy, look at that tail, it's back onto itself. These uh, pesky little tail grabbers. 
What do you reckon it was? What's this we got over here? So I'm finally on. Ooh, it doesn't feel like no tail on this one. Hello now. Oh, that's long. It's going to burn to flathead. I wonder if it's down deep. No, it's not. Let's do a risky leadering up. Three, two, one. Thanks, mate. Oh, no. Oh, there goes the flatty. Moral of the story, bring a net, I guess. Hey, sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. That's all right. It earned its freedom there. Not <laughs> with our tail between our legs, we're gonna head. <laughs> we're heading up to the fresh. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna catch a fish soon. A few moments later. All right, how was that? That was the salt. I can't wait to get to the fresh. We're gonna go start on the fresh now. So we'll go fish here. Ooh, you hear a fish jumping in the background. I don't know if that's a good sign. In fact, I know that is a good sign. So come over here. I'm gonna show you what lures I'm gonna be using. All right, let's place the rod down. We'll take off the plastic. In this bag, we have goods, the goodies. I'm gonna be doing some hard body fishing tonight. <sighs> Look at that, is, is that not a good tackle box? Got this from a hardware store, in fact. <laughs> anyway, I decided to put lures in. Oh, look at that. Look at some of my bass lures right here. What do you guys reckon? We've got, I don't know, I guess these are like jitterbugs or something. We've got plenty of hard bodies. Cicadas, prawns, big cicadas, beetles. We've got a bunch of these weird creatures here. I'm going to start with a jackal pompadour, like this one right here. While I shake that off, what do you guys reckon? It's going to make a lot of commotion. It is practically a metal cicada. I reckon that is going to be the go. Yeah. All right, I can't believe it. This lure didn't work. Going back in my lure box. Um, what should we use next? All right, so if I haven't shown it already, I've just tied on this Duo Realis Cicada, another Cicada, so surface lure, plastic wings, and it's got these nice legs and a little bit of a feather on the treble too. Two trebles, double the chance, or six hook points, six times the chance of hookup. Let's take it to the river. All right, there's a duck shoe, good, goodbye duck. Stay away from my surface Cicada. Jeez, did you guys see that spit just come out of my mouth? I'm literally salivating. I mean, it was only just a few seconds ago that I was demoralized using that other hard body, which we won't talk about anymore. So we'll just um, cast out there towards the lily pads out now. I don't know if you can see it, but just right where the shadows are, you've got some lily pads and I reckon a couple of fish out there. So if I can just sort of like cast, maybe give a few winds, you know, you see when you cast and you got those ripples, I'm just going to use that to sort of draw their attention in and then let the lure do the rest because it does look very realistic just give it a bit of a wind here so it's got it's doing this side to side action sending that vibration all right, here we go let's wind this in let's move up a bit who likes using cicadas let me know i think when it comes to chasing bass i find fishing for surface almost essential well not essential but it's just one of life's guilty pleasures when chasing australian bass here we go, I heard a bit of a splash just over there, just in the distance over there. We'll wind in and see if we can put it on top, just right over there, right there. Sometimes they're roaming. If I can just put it on top of its nose, like that. Maybe we'll get a fish. Oh, that's it, on. Oh, am I, am I still on? Yes. Oh, let me turn on the light here. Re-recording, it's been hours and hours. This, this, is this my chance, ladies and gents, to get the third species of our challenge? Oh, it's not big, but that is not a flathead. That's not a taillight. Yes, it's a bass, there we go. Yes, I don't know if anyone's on the river. Anyone from the general public that just got spooked by me? <laughs> yes! Look at that! Look at that, let's get the garnishing off him. 
because uh, look at that. Ooh, mosquito went in my ears. Jeez, it went. You know that noise really bad. Yeah, look at that. How's that look on the on the screen? Look how tenuous that hookup is. That's just. Oh, sorry, mate. I had to flick that off. That's just the lightest hookup to. Got it on the pause. I think that's um, that's the secret. Got to pause and be patient, and I was definitely patient. I've been fishing for what feels like about 101 hours, an extra one. Uh, let's pop this off without losing, without getting it in my hand. There right, we go. Let's go give it the sniff test. Oh, smells like back to basics, basics, because oh, it's been pretty bad tonight. Back to basics. Oh, like a helicopter back in. Yeah. Third species, there we go. All right, now that we got the bass out of the way, we swung by the petrol station to pick up some bread and we want to see what else we can catch out here in the water tonight. What do you guys reckon? This is my rig. I've got my three to five kilogram rod, two and a half thousand size reel. And all I've tied on is a bit of leader onto a simple hook right there. It's only a, one of the tiniest of hooks size two. We'll go get ourselves some of this bread. Let's give it the taste test. Mmm, very good, especially at this time of night. All right, we'll get started. All right, I've got my hook tied on. I'm just going to put a little bit of bread on the end and just conceal it. You know, nothing fancy. You just roll it up in a ball. Don't need another slice like I did. There we go. Nice little nugget. That's my bait. That's my bait. Ladies and gents. Yes! There we go. <laughs> oh, snot's coming out of my face, but that's because I'm excited. Here we go. We got him. I'm going to pull too hard. We don't have a net either. So I've been burning for a while. There he is. He's, oh, he's splashing on the top. Splashing on the top. We only got. Well, I beef. I beefed up my leader to eight pound for this. Geez, I wasn't recording sound up until this moment. Here we go. There he is. He's white. I think he's a. He wasn't a carp. I think this guy's a koi. You can call it that. Look at him. Look at his colours. Look at that. I've never caught a koi before. Never, I've only caught carp. And he's right there. Wow. Wow. Chunky. He's chunky. He's gonna be hard to land, ladies and gents. Can you see him? Right there. Smallest hook. All right, how are we gonna land him now? That's the question. Let's see if I can pass you the rod. I don't know if I can stick my hand in. His mouth. No, no bull sharks here, right? Yes. yes. Oh, how long did that take? Got how long did that take? Got half an hour. Half an hour, no, it, was, it felt like half an hour in my hands. Oh, there we go. We did it. Oh, we did it. Dom, we did it, man. We did this. There we go, multi species challenge. How's that? Oh, that's heavy. There we go, ladies and gents. How's that for a fish? Multi species challenge. Using bread was a great idea. Look at that. He's so fat. I've never caught a koi, too, so. Look at his colors, he's orange, he's black, he's got a bit of gray blotching. His tail is nice and thick, he's got a fat stomach. Because this was so exciting, I came back the next night to see if I can get a common carp. Look at that. It's carp going ballistic. In the shallows, I can't believe it. I mean, I see this all the time, but when I could just show you this, how can you not get excited? Look at that, there's one right there. By the way guys, it's encouraged to dispose of these carp thoughtfully, although not essential, at least in New wow. South Wales at the moment. 
<laughs> holding on to the spool. It's gonna give him the weed. Don't do it. We've got eight pound, not six. A bit more power. Whoa, don't do that. Don't do that. It's coming around, it's coming around. It's coming around. On, man what <laughs> I gotta get a better grip on my rod big boy coming real hard I haven't even seen him yet I'm, gri I'm grabbing this pool that's bad just want to put there he is oh He's going hard because I got into the top. There he is, there he is, there he is. Can you second grab the net? Yeah. Bad net shot. That's why you need that cop rod, strong rod. Yeah, I got him. Ooh, this one was really dark. There we go. Common car, there you go. Common car.